Hello and welcome to another episode of Waffle TV. My name is Jimmy and I'm here with Psycat here with his show Strictly Baldy. Hello Psycat. Hello. Hello. Amazing. How are you doing today? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, very, very well. A little bit tired but I think yeah. that is the fringe experience. I know we're kind of getting to that sort of week three. Is it week three? Coming. I think I we're know, getting there. Exactly. We're getting close to days. I know. Um, but actually I'm having a great time. Amazing. A really great time. Amazing. And can you tell our audiences just a little bit about, about what show that you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Strictly Balti, which is on at the Gilded Balloon, uh, 145, is a solo show. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all about growing up in Birmingham in the 1980s with Bangladeshi parents, uh, which in itself, you know, isn't that strange, except I had quite a confused upbringing. Uh, the title comes from the fact that my parents sent me ballroom dance classes every Saturday during my childhood because they thought it was English. Uh, <laughs> it's not, it's just bonkers. <laughs> yeah. um, so, you know, there's a bit of that, and there's fitting in in the playground. Ultimately, it, it's a very uplifting piece. Uh, that's what the audience have said to me. Uh, it's very funny, very emotional. Um, and also, it takes us to Bangladesh as well, which is an experience in itself. Amazing. So you've seen kind of both things. So thank oh, you. Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's really, really great. And obviously, it's a completely personal story for you. Yeah. How, how has that been, kind of giving that out to audiences? It's been a real privilege, actually, genuinely, because um, for my mind, theatre should be about really connecting to people. Mm -hmm. And actually, there is a truth in this piece because it is a true story. It is my story. And I haven't sugarcoated it or, or really changed it. It's very much as it was and people seem to really respond to that um, when I was making the piece you know I was kind of writing it going oh yeah this is funny this is amusing and then actually in the rehearsal process I realized how personal it was uh, as I was called uh, curled up in a ball in the corner going oh no I need therapy um, but actually we it's not traumatic it's emotional but but kind of lovely Amazing. amazing. And how have kind of audiences been taking it so far? They've been amazing. Yeah. I mean, absolutely amazing. Um, a guy came up to me a few days ago while I was flyering, another part of the fringe, <laughs> uh, and he just picked me up, because I'm quite a small guy, you probably can't <laughs> tell because, you know, I've got a big personality. Um, <laughs> but he, he picked me up and gave me a bear hug, uh, uh, and he was wiping a tear away, and he said, uh, I saw your show the other day. I just wanted to do that. And it's like, actually, that's why I'm doing it. Yeah. I'm doing it for hugs. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I not money, that. not art, just, just hugs. hugs. Yeah, if yeah. you ever go see the show, just make sure yeah. you get a hug at the end of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. wash it before. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's it, though, with, with these really, really personal stories and personal theatre. It, it touches you in a way, kind of other theatre can't. You know, well, I, I hope so. I mean, you know, there's a lot of great theatre out there. Um, there's some ropey stuff as well, mm -hmm. and that's to be expected. Okay. Um, but actually, the thing about true writing, you know, true life writing, is it, it doesn't have any uh, barriers between you and the audience. It's very much you going, right, I'm, I'm literally going to tell you what happened and see what that does to you. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, there have been a lot of tears in the audience, um, hopefully tears of joy or sadness, not boredom. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you know people have really responded amazing yeah amazing and what kind of people um you know does, does your show appeal to sure well i think it's kind of from 10 up to 100 right i mean if you're <laughs> over 100 you can see it. give it a go yeah you give know. it a go <laughs> you know, there's a lot of steps to climb um but actually yeah it's got it's got quite a universal appeal and a lot of the reviews have talked about that. Mm -hmm. um, one of the reviews, uh, I got four stars in Fest, said, you know, one of the great things about this show is that it appeals to younger people as well as older people. Um, it's kind of, I think that's the truth of it, mm -hmm. because actually because it's truthful uh, and, you know, it does connect to people, whatever their age yeah. or background. I mean, actually, you know, obviously uh, a lot of it is to do with my British Asian upbringing, yeah. but... A lot of people have responded because it's also to do with your first crush, mm -hmm. uh, not being able to speak to the girl, uh, trying to fit in in the playground, your relationship with your parents, and that's something that everyone can relate to. 
And obviously, call strictly balty. I'm a yeah. bit of a dancer myself. Do oh, you do? Yeah. Well, do you do any ballroom dancing for us? In the uh, there, show? there is a, w- a wee bit of dance in the show. Um, I was, I, I, I'm, I'm almost ashamed to say this because I was forced to go ballroom dance classes as a kid. I was two years gold champion wow. uh, with uh, ballroom and Latin American. I've never been so ashamed. No, never. Congratulations with that Cheers. one. That's right. <laughs> Amazing. And can you just let us know one final time where and when we can find your show? Of course. Uh, it's one forty-five every single day this month at the Gilded Balloon in the dining room, which is a beautiful space. It is indeed. Right. Best of luck with the Cheers. rest of the run. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. It's been another episode of Waffle TV, sponsored by Boomers. Boomers.